Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss how to counsel a patient who comes with breach presentation regarding the mode of delivery. So obviously such a patient in your station you would be giving the options of ECV that is external cephalic version, vaginal delivery and cesarean section. Now your role in the station is to find out what the station is assessing you for whether it is ECV or whether it is discussion about the mode of delivery. So it's always best to ask the role player what is it that she would want to know about. So you tell her that there are three options. There's that's external cephalic version which is turning the baby upside down so basically getting the head down second one is allowing a vaginal delivery and the third option is planning a cesarean section am i clear so far would you like to know about any specific mode okay so in order to assess what exactly the role player wants to know about in other words what the station is about so let's move on in case the role player asks you about external cephalic version what are the points you would say you tell her that this is a procedure to turn the baby from bottom first position to head down position by external manipulation the success of this procedure is around 50 percent if the procedure is successful, it increases the chance of you having a vaginal delivery. But the chance of cesarean section is still higher than those who are always cephalic, that is head down. So also the need for operative vaginal delivery is slightly increased. There is a 5% chance that the baby may turn back to its original position. During the procedure, we would first do a scan to check if everything is okay. We would be checking your pulse, blood pressure. Baby would be monitored with an external monitor as well. The procedure is generally safe. You may experience mild discomfort and you could ask us to stop at any moment. We could offer you injections to prevent the womb from contracting so as to facilitate the procedure. Rarely, there is one in 200 chance of you needing a cesarean section due to heart rate abnormalities of the baby or sometimes the placenta, that's the afterbirth, may separate. After the procedure, your baby would be monitored for a while, ultrasound may be repeated and you could go home the same day. The procedure would be carried out by a trained healthcare provider. You would need to follow up again with, with us if there is any bleeding, any concern regard like pain or any reduced fetal movements. Let's move on to discussing the mode of delivery with your patient. So, the options that you would be offered are vaginal delivery and cesarean section. There are certain pros and cons of each mode of delivery. As far as the vaginal delivery is concerned, there is a slightly increased risk of short-term complications for the baby as a result of injuries sustained during delivery in breech position. And I don't mean to scare you, it is rare and unlikely in expert hands, but there is a small risk that the baby may die after the delivery because of problems during labor. And the risk of that happening is 2 in 1000 for breech delivery as against 1 in 1000 when the head is presenting. I don't mean to scare you. This complication is rare in expert hands. 
However, the long-term problems for the baby do not appear to be significantly increased. For the mother, the complications are least with successful vaginal delivery and maximum in case an emergency cesarean section is required as compared with planned cesarean section. However, the risk of requiring an emergency section during attempted vaginal delivery may be as high as 40%, that is 4 out of 10 may require a cesarean section. In case caesarean is required, there are certain risks in the next pregnancy which would include the risk of repeat caesarean section, risk associated with vaginal birth after caesarean, placental complications in the next pregnancy and a small risk of stillbirth but this association which is seen in research may not be causal. Of course, Caesarean section will have its own complications considering that it is a surgical procedure. Then again, there are factors that would favor vaginal delivery. The factors that favor are the baby is well flexed, the neck of the baby is not extended backwards, hands are close to the tummy, baby isn't too big or too small. If labor does not start on its own, caesarean would be preferred as induction of labor that is giving medications to artificially start labor is not recommended. If you do go in labor, it's recommended that you deliver in an obstetric unit. We will make sure that there are doctors with expertise in breech delivery to attend to you. A strict protocol will be followed. You would be offered a scan early in labor to confirm the baby is in a favorable position and to know the approximate weight of the baby. You would be offered continuous monitoring for the baby in labor. So the role player may have certain questions like, can I have water birth? So you say, generally it is not recommended as it takes away the effect of gravity that helps in breech delivery. Also, assistance may be required during delivery, which may not be possible to offer underwater. How about an epidural? The effect of epidural on a success of delivery is unclear but it may increase the chance of operative intervention. What about oxytocin? Generally, it is not recommended, but may be offered if you are under epidural and the contractions are not occurring frequently enough. All right, so that was about counseling for breach delivery. Thank you.